this is really just my way of showing you guys the second color of the planner because if you watch the other videos you will definitely know that the first color is peach so this now is the second color and if you want to find out the third color of the planner you definitely should watch this video till the very end and now on to the main subject which is how to use this planner and basically how does the planner even look what are the pages because i've been showing you guys just like this how the planner looks and all of that but you need to know the content of the planner what is really inside the planner and that's what this video is about this video is about me flipping through the planner to show you guys what is inside how to use it and how to make the best out of it so let's dive right straight into the planner so now when you open the first page you have this planner belongs to basically you just write your name your email your phone number and your address if you want to and now i just want to give a special shout out to braco studio for designing this planner and basically helping me out with everything design flyers and all of that so do well to get to braco studios if you need anything like this one designed or if you need flyer designs anything like that i'm going to leave a link down in the description box so that you can be able to contact them okay now we have the first page of the planner it's just dedication like okay this planner is dedicated to i'm just going to go over that now we have a section of how to use the planner because some people might actually get this planner without having to watch this video and they'll see me guidance as to how to use the planner so i actually thought it was that it was going to be important for me to add a how to use this planner section because people might buy the planner and they'll have difficulties using the planner and so they might not actually get the results that they were intended to get so that's why i specially took my time to write out the section how to use this planner and describe all the headings inside the planner such that you know exactly what you're supposed to write where so that it's going to help you like the best possible way so i'll go over i'll skip this part and i'll basically just explain it myself without what i have written inside the planner so okay initially right this planner had to have this planner had to be six months i think i mentioned that in the previous video it had to be six months but it's rather unfortunate that we had to split the planner in two because it was going to be too big and the essence of the planner is such that it should be portable and you can be able to go anywhere with it so that's why i decided now to just write in this section I wish you a jubilant January, flourishing February. I just decided to write this here so that when you get to the month that you're planning, you're just going to write it out with the pen by yourself. Normally, it was supposed to be like already there. But since the planner is undated, we don't want to include months because it's going to make it complicated. Now, we have this section of long term goals. Basically, a long term goal is a goal that you intend to achieve in one year and above that is goals that are less than one year those are short-term goals and goals that are more than one year those are long-term goals so if you're planning for 2024 your short-term goals are the goals that you're going to achieve in the period of 2024 that's from january to december 2024 and now your long-term goals are the goals that you're going to achieve from above december 2024 that's what we call the long-term goal so the reason why I have the section long-term goals is such that you don't only really limit yourself to like the immediate things that are happening, but that like, you should already be envisioning yourself in okay, where do I want to be in the next five years, in the next ten years, in the next two years? Even if it's not very clear, that you already have an idea of where you want to be. So for the long-term goals section of the planner, what you can do is you're going to write down the goals that you want to achieve in maybe the next two years the next three years the next five years the next 10 years and then you're going to write the goals that you want to achieve in the next 12 months basically so you equally use this section to write what you want to achieve in the next 12 months because the next section now is short-term goals and you're going to divide this like in quarters so when you get now to the point where you're going to be writing your quarterly goals then you're going to take the goals that you wrote in the long-term goal section 
which fits in that month, like the first quarter is January, February, March. You're going to take the goals of January, February, March. You're going to transfer it to the short term goals section for the first quarter because every quarter we have the short term goals. So it means that in this plan, you're going to have for two quarters since this is six months. So the first quarter is the first three months, and the next quarter is the next three months. So basically, you're just going to plan here what you want to be able to achieve in the next three months because when you just have like okay when you just have like a wide spread of everything that you want to achieve from january to december it's kind of very wide but now when you're able to bring it down and focus it to okay let me for look at this first trimester january february march what do i want to do so this this part for the short term goals you're going to write what you want to do in the first trimester of the year that way you're working like you know what you're doing when you don't just have a wide view of everything for the year but you know that okay these first three months i'm going to be specific to these particular things that i want to do you're going to now write your goals like specifically in the planner right you have the manner that you're going to follow to be able to write a goal that is specific now when it comes to the short term goals section if you have to write a goal that you have to achieve in maybe the 1st of January, let's see, when you're going to come now to the short-term goal section, you're going to write down your goals and write down even the slightest things, like even the smallest things that you want to achieve in January, in February, or in March. You're going to write all of that on that short-term goals because the goal of this planner is to help you to be accountable. And most of the times, if you don't write down things that you want to do, you will tend to forget them. And if you forget them, you eventually not achieve them. So the idea is that this planner should be like your, your accountability partner. So it means that you're going to hold yourself accountable with the things that you've written inside the planner. The planner will hold you accountable and you equally have to hold yourself accountable. So you're going to break down every, like the slightest thing you want to achieve in the month of January, you write it. In the month of February, you write in the month of March, you write it down here. Then now, we're going to go to the next section, which is the goal breakdown. In this goal breakdown section, you're going to take like the first goal. Let me just take an example of a goal that you have. Let's say uh, that your goal is hitting 5,000 subscribers by January 2024. And then that's on YouTube by January. Let me make it specific because that's what the goal is. So hit... 5,000 subscribers on YouTube by 30th of January 2024. And let's say we are like end of December, or like 25th of December, you are making a plan for the new year. So what you're going to write in this detail section is that you're going to break it down. You need to first of all know that, okay, let's say currently I'm having 3,000 subscribers. It means that in the next one month, I'm supposed to grow by 2,000 subscribers. Okay. What work do I need to do to grow by 2,000 subscribers in the next one month? You already know that you should not be posting less than three times per week. Because the more you make videos, the more you have a tendency to um, attract more subscribers and all of that. So, you know, if you are posting once a week, then you are not even in correlation with the goal that you have set for yourself. Because how will you only put out four videos and you are expecting to get 2,000 subscribers from four videos. It's not an impossibility. But now we're trying to work here with like a very normal case where you need to go to the normal part. So you're not counting on a video going like really, really viral. That one video can make it to just have 2,000 subscribers. So we're counting on you really putting in the work to get those 2,000 those two thousand subscribers. So it means that you have to write in this details section that I'm going to be posting three times a week for four weeks so that by january 30th you're going to hit that um 5000 subscribers you're going to so you have to detail out everything that's going to take you closer to that goal because like i said it's not sufficient to just say okay this is the goal but you need to have step by step so let me see what else should you have to do to maybe get that goal um let me see you can also take the objective of maybe studying your analytics every week every weekend such that you're going to have an idea of the content that is doing well 
and then you're going to double down on that content because you know that okay if people are coming to my channel because of this i can now make more of this way i'm going to attract more people so you're going to include in that fact in that in your details of where you go that okay this is what you have to do i hope you are really understanding what i mean by like this section of goal breakdown because this section of goal breakdown is very important because this breakdown is what is now going to help you to plan daily i hope you are guessing it so we're guessing from the long-term goals we're going to the short-term goals and we're going out to the details of the short-term goals and the small objectives that you need to achieve that you need to hit to be able to achieve that goal so this goal breakdown now is going to help you when you are doing your daily planning but you know that the big goal in your head is that okay by january 30th 2024 i should hit 5,000 subscribers on youtube it means that when you're going to be planning daily you know the activity that you have to do that's going to take you closer to that goal let's say if you're having another goal you know the activity you're going to do that you're supposed to do on that day to take you closer to that goal because the objective is that what because the objective is you need to be doing things every day that are going to take you closer to your goal that's like the most assured way that you're going to hit the goal because it's not magic it's not magic it's what you do that actually helps you to hit your target so you're basically going to do this for all your goals for all the two quarters because the planner has two quarters yeah now after the goal breakdown section you go to my year at a glance my year at a glance has january to december so when you say my year at a glance it means that when i'm looking at this page like this i should be i should see my year i should see how my year 2024 is going to turn out so i should see what has to be done by january i should see what has to be done by february by march right up to december i should see everything here so that when i'm planning daily when i'm in the month of january and i'm planning daily i'm coming back to this my year at a glance and i'm seeing what has to be done by january so that my planning during the weeks of january have to be in accordance to what has to be what i have to have achieved by january are we getting it so it means that my year at a glance shows you how your whole year has to be what you have to have achieved by like in each of the months so that they are also going to help you to do your daily planning very well and then after this my year at a glance we have the happy new month page this is where you're going to write let's say joyful january and all what was written on the first page okay and now you have your objectives for january so when you go to this your goal breakdown section where you have broken down each of the things that you have to do now you have to come to this objective section when you come to this objective section now you know every single thing that you're supposed to write for january because you've already done goal breakdown and you've already come up with details like we talked we spoke about the goal of hitting 5,000 subscribers by january 30 2024 so you mean that when you're coming to these objectives of january your objective here should be that you should have posted 12 videos on your channel in the month of january this should be under january objectives so that you are helping yourself to really follow through with your goals so you're doing this for every single goal and you're coming and writing in here as january objectives based on the goals that are supposed to be for january and you did this for every month now we have the daily planning pages in these daily planning pages we have the top priority first of all we have the dates you're basically writing the dates of the day we have the top priority now this top priority stands for what you absolutely have to achieve by the end of each day so that one is non-negotiable so it means that go up calm down this top priority like this it has to be done and so the tendency is that when you have a top priority when you're planning your day it should be like one of the first things that you have to do so that it ensures already that your top priority has been achieved and now you can focus on every other thing that you have to do during the day but there are some times that your top priority cannot absolutely be done like at the start of the day but you just have to make sure you need to you need to be accountable to yourself you need to make sure that okay this top priority like this it has to be done go up calm down and then uh, below the top priority we have the to-do list so the to-do list is basically you writing out everything that you have to do that day so today is tuesday the 31st of october i'm writing out everything that i have to do on tuesday the 31st of october i come now to these daily affirmations daily affirmations are just 
helpful to really keep yourself in a positive state. He writes down and equally really out to yourself like, I am bold, I am beautiful, I am successful, I am creative, I am a billionaire, I am... So you are saying these things to yourself, you wake up in the morning and you say these things to yourself to really just boost your spirit. And then now we have the gratitude list part and you are really just writing what you are grateful for. Because sometimes we just go on and we just go on during the day and we are just doing things, doing things, doing things, or complaining, complaining, complaining. And we just fail to really just thank God for what we already have. So this gratitude list is just really to serve as a reminder that don't forget to be grateful for what you already have while you're working for what you want to have. Okay? And now we have the part for the shadow. This part for the shadow is very, very important because to make a to-do list is not sufficient. For you make a to-do list, the next best thing that you have to do is you're supposed to give a time allocation to each of those things that you're supposed to do during the day. So if you are waking up at 5 o'clock, you know that, okay, from 5 o'clock to 5.30, I'm saying my morning prayer, I'm taking my bath, I'm brushing my teeth, I'm making on my bed, 5.30 to maybe 6 o'clock, I'm reading my Bible, or I'm making my breakfast, 6 o'clock to this, I'm going to school, 7 o'clock to maybe midday or 7 o'clock to 2 p.m. is school time. 2, 2 p.m. to 2.30, I'm coming back home. 2.30 to 5.30, I'm filming three videos for YouTube. Remember that your daily objectives or your daily planning is as a result of your January objectives. So you always have to look back to your January objectives to know how you're planning for the day, okay? So you're really basically like giving time frames for everything so that when you're outside, you check your time. Okay, now it's time to do this. You you consult your planner. Now it's time to do this. And you just get on to doing it. So that you know, because when you do like this, right, you don't have any time to waste. You already know that when I'm leaving this thing like this, I'm going to go and do this other one. When I'm finishing that one, I'm doing that one. So you don't have time that you're just going to be there and you feel like you don't have anything to do. Meanwhile, you have a lot to do. Now we have the this other part of the page which has notes carry over and tackle. Notes is basically you writing anything that you have in your mind. Maybe you have an idea that pops up to your mind. And the tendency is that if you don't write it down, you're going to forget. So this notes part is such that you should write down all the ideas that you have. But the good thing about it is that when you come back to your planner and you go through all the parts where you had written notes, you are able to come up with a list of ideas that you have been having during the day that you do, not, you do not want to forget. Now you have the carry over section. This section like this, the best case scenario is that it should be empty and that you should, you should use it as a continuation of your note of your note section because this carry over section is for you to write down the things that you were not able to do during the day. So as the things on your to-do list, you're going to write them there. So that when you're planning for the next day, you remember that these things were not actually done and so I need to insert it into this planning that I'm planning. And then now the tackle section, it really just has to do with maybe difficulties that you encounter during the day. You write them down and now you later on brainstorm on the things that you can do for you to not have those difficulties anymore. It's basically something that can help you to get better daily. So it means that you are tracking the difficulties that you have and at the same time, you're coming up with solutions so that the next day, if you face that same difficulty, now you have a solution to be able to handle it so that you know, you don't get stuck in that difficulty all the time, but you have a solution. And you do this every day for things that difficulties that you have. And if you don't have any difficulties, you can as well tell this place to your notes. It means that if you don't have any carryover and you don't have any section where you're, you don't have anything that you're tackling, you can use all of this page for your ideas, your brainstorming, anything, anything, anything. These pages repeat. For the whole month and then you have the new month again you have the objective for that month and then you have the planning pages again that repeat this is all about how to use this planner 
i hope that i was really very detailed about the different sections in the planner and if you have any questions whatsoever about the planner don't hesitate to ask me and i'm going to give you a more a very much more detailed explanation on that note we have come to the end of this video the next video is going to be still just taking you guys behind the scene of how this came to reality how i got in contact with the suppliers that helped me the chinese suppliers that helped me to actually get this done and bring this idea to reality so thank you guys so 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 much and i'll see you guys in the next video